Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Microsoft Word is a word processing application that allows you to create a variety of documents, including letters, resumes, and much more. In this lesson, you'll learn how to navigate the Word interface and become familiar with some of its important features, such as the preborn, the quick access toolbar, and backstage view. Now let's start the Word program. Just do it through your search bar, then type Word and click on the Word app to open. Now, when you open Word for the first time, the start screen will appear. And from here, you'll be able to create a new document, choose a template, and access your recently ad edited documents. Now, from the start screen, locate and select blank document to access the Word interface. Now, this is the Word interface. And at the top here, we have the ribbon. Now, the ribbon contains multiple tabs, which you can find near the top of the Word window. Here they are. The tabs so we have insert tab design tab layout tab and so on and each tab contains several groups of related commands for example we have the font group we have the paragraph group and we have the styles group under home tab now some groups also have a small arrow in the bottom right corner that you can click for even more options now if you find that the ribbon takes up too much screen space you can hide it to do this, click the ribbon display options icon and we have these three options. Now, first we have auto hide ribbon. Now, auto hide displays your document in full screen mode and completely hides the ribbon from view. Now, to show the ribbon, click the expand ribbon command at the top of the screen and your ribbon back will come back right up. Then we have the second command here is show tabs. Now, this option hides all command groups when they're not in use, but tabs will remain visible, as you can see. Now, to show the ribbon, simply click on any tab, and the ribbon will come back right up again. Then lastly, we have show tabs and commands. Now, this option maximizes the ribbon, and all of the tabs and commands will be visible. This option is selected by default when you open wide for the first time. If you're having trouble finding a command you want, you can use the tell me feature fee over here. Now it works just like a regular search bar. Just type what you're looking for and a list of options will appear. So let's say I'm looking for the align command. And as you can see, I'll get the options over here and I can select them without having to find it on the ribbon. Then we have the quick access toolbar. Now, the quick access toolbar over here, it is, lets you access common commands no matter which tab is selected. And by default, it shows save, undo, and redo commands, but you can add other commands depending on your needs. Now, to do this, just click this drop-down arrow over here, then select the command that you want to add. So let's say I want to add the draw table command and it will be added. White has two rulers and one is at the top and another one to the left. And these rulers make it easier to adjust your document with precision. If you want, you can hide the ruler to create more screen space. To show or hide the ruler, click the view tab then check or uncheck this box next to the ruler. So if I uncheck it, I'll hide the rulers. If I check it again, I'll show the rulers. Then we have the backstage view. Now this gives you various options for saving, opening a file, printing, and sharing a document. To access the backstage view, click the file tab on the ribbon, and then it will take you to the backstage view. And here are the commands new, open, save, print and so on so we'll go back then we have view buttons and zoom controls down here now word has a variety of viewing options that change how your document is displayed you can choose to view your document in read mode we have print layout or the web layout now if i select read mode it opens the document to a full screen 
Now, this view is great for reading large amounts of text or simply reviewing your work. Then we have print layout. Now, this is the default document view in Word. It shows what the document will look like on the printed page. And lastly, we have the web layout view. This displays the document as a web page, which can be helpful if you're using Word to publish content online. So I'll go back to the default setting. Then we have the zoom controls. Now to zoom in or out, just click and drag the zoom control slider to zoom in or out of your document. You can also click on these icons, the minus to zoom out and the plus icon to zoom in.